Hi there, I'm Zach from the Bailey Hay team. Our team has been servicing the Barrie and surrounding areas for 37 years, and we post videos about the key details and trends within the market and how it will affect you. This is our monthly market update. First, a summary of what we'll cover in today's video. We're going to touch on multiple sectors of the market and how they're performing compared to the hot market we experienced in the first quarter of the year. We're also going to point out a couple of particular sales in our section we like to call, So This Just Happened. And before we sign off, we will be sharing a couple of tips about the real estate market, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video. Today we'll be looking at multiple sectors of the market, the detached market and the semi-detached with townhouse market, and comparing the last month's activity to, and trends to the first three months of the year. The market has been quite hot this year, as I'm sure you know, and it's important for us to keep tracking the direction of the market as each month passes. First, we'll be looking at the detached market. Between January and March of 2021, there were 720 sales of detached homes in Barrie, which came with an average sale price of 789,000. There were 527 sales that went 4% or more over asking, which would indicate at least 73% of the sales from January to March went into multiple offers. In order to give you a better understanding of the monthly data, the average amount of sales per month from January to March was 240. In comparison to January and March, we have November in which we saw 92 sales of detached homes coming with an average sale price of 906,000. There were 83 sales, 4% or more over asking, indicating that at least 90% of homes sold in multiple offers. As you can see on your screen, the price has risen significantly. Comparing last month to the first quarter of the year, the average detached home in Barrie has increased by 117,000. If you're thinking of selling your home, now may be the time. With the current status of inventory or the lack thereof, it may be worth seeing if you're selling your home now or in the near future works for you and your family. Let's look at the semi-detached and townhouse market. Between January and, and March of 2021, there were 183 sales, which is an average of 61 sales per month, coming in with an average sale price of 617,000. 153 of those sales sold 4% or more over asking, which means at least 83% of the total sales likely went into multiple offers. Now, let's compare that data to what we just experienced in November. There were 40 sales of semi-detached homes and townhomes, which is down from the monthly average from the first quarter of 61. And the prices rose from 617,000 to 728,000 and an increase of 18%. 36 sales went 4% or more over asking, which indicates that there was at least 90% of homes likely going into multiple offers. Now, what does that mean for you? Similarly to the detached data prior to this, you can see the sale price having a noticeable rise as well as the percent of homes selling 4% or more over asking, both taking large jumps. As I mentioned earlier, now is really the perfect time to list your home if you are looking to sell in the near future. A large part of that is available inventory and competition. For example, in the detached market, using all homes listed between September 1st and December 1st, there were 429 detached sales in Barrie, which gives a monthly average of 143 sales per month. There are currently 50 detached homes for sale in Barrie. If you take the 143 sales per month, this segment has shown to be the average and divide it by what is currently available, that leaves you with 0.35 months of inventory. That's less than two weeks of supply when a regular warmer uh, market has three months of supply for the buyers to choose from. That is an extreme seller's market and we do anticipate it staying that way for the near future as it will require the market to supply enough homes to give buyers many choices in the market. Three months supply would equal 429 detached listings active at one time. In order to get that number, the market would have to be flooded with listings. And at this time, there is no indication that is going to happen in the near future. So this just happened. In our segment last video, there were a couple of town homes that we shared with you. This month, we will provide two examples of detached sales that stand out for different reasons. This home in particular is a home in Barrie. It was listed for 924,000, relisted three times within 2021, and sold for 905,000, which is 19,000 under asking price, which is showcasing that there are possibilities out there to get a home under asking in this market without competing offers. An example on the other side of the fence was another home sold in Barrie which was listed for 499,000 and had a seven day offer date. What do you think it sold for? I'll give you a second to think about it. 
Okay, it sold for 766,000, which is 267,000 over asking price or 53% over asking. Would go, which goes to show you the potential for sales in this market as a homeowner. There is virtually no competition as I spoke about earlier. The entire detached market in Barrie has an incredibly low amount of listings at 50 for sale, giving homeowners an opportunity to get max dollars for their home. If wealth building is a focus for you, this may be a good topic worth diving into. Anyone who has owned their home since 2018 or before have likely seen their home value double. If this applies to you, you may have room to potentially acquire an investment property without having to sell your existing home. If you look at the data I mentioned earlier, even if you bought your home at the starting of this year, it's possible you would have made over $100,000 already. With the market's lack of inventory and the constant increase in values, it could be the right time to consider pulling out equity out of your home to buy another property and start building that additional wealth without having to sell your own home. If this idea and strategy speak to you, feel free to reach out and we can talk about various options and strategies for you to consider. We have a strategy that has been quite successful with our clients, which keeps them in full control without having them fully commit. If that's something that is of interest to you, we would be happy to explain how it works so you can have your cake and eat it too. We want to leave you with a couple tips here. Something you may want to consider if you have lived in your home for a while now is getting a home inspection done, which can let you know where things are requiring attention. We have an inspector that we can recommend who charges $299. A lot of homes that are 20 years and over have insufficient insulation levels and issues like this will be pointed out within the inspection. The last tip I will leave you with is regarding being timely with replacing your furnace filters and having your furnace fit maintenance done annually. I'll share a quick story. One of my family members got their furnace inspected and the air conditioner coils were incorrectly installed, which caused the heat exchanger needing to be replaced. And instead of replacing it for the third time, they got a new furnace, which cost thousands of dollars. It's a good reminder to make sure you stay on top of your maintenance or you risk potential consequences. Let's talk about your specific situation. Connect with us whenever you feel comfortable and we would be happy to chat with you. Thank you for listening to our video today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. Looking forward to helping you and the people you care about every step of the way.